Neil Forge for Minecraft 1.21.5. That's what you want. Let's get it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Neo Forge. It covers everything you need to know to get Neo Forge, but so does this video. So once you're here, go ahead and click on the download Neo Forge button to go to Neo Forge's official download page. On this page, we can see that this is already selected for Minecraft 1.21.5. So we can come under this, click on latest Neo Forge installer, and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file. It's 100% safe to do that. This is Neo Forge's official download page. So we're going to go ahead and click save there. And while Neo Forge is downloading, come to us from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the XYZ slash SGA to start your very own 24 hour DDoS back in Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, Neo Forge mods specifically, but any kind of mods that you want to your Minecraft server. And there's even one click installation of mod packs, making it super easy to play mod packs with your friends. There's also expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So that means if you install a Neoforge mod, it breaks the server. The server's not starting. You can't figure out why. Don't stress about it. Reach out to live chat support. They are there to help you out and fix any issues that your server may be having with mods. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown that XYZ says SGH. When Neoforge downloaded, we can go ahead and grab some Neoforge mods as well. Now, when you're downloading mods, there's two primary places you're going to be using curse forge and modrith both of them are great and trusted and you can pretty much download any mods you want from here as long as they're compatible with neo forge here's what i mean if we go to curse forge here we can search for neo forge and then we can go to the game version 1.21.5 Forge mods will not work. Your mods must be for the Neo Forge mod loader for them to work. The names may be similar, but the mods themselves are completely different. So make sure you're filtering for Neo Forge and then the 1.21.5 version. As you can see, we've got all of these here. Let's take a look at Waystones real quick. And then we can go to Files and we want to search for the 1.21.5 and then the Neo Forge version. Again, the Forge version won't work. So here it is. Now you could download this, but if you just downloaded this mod and installed it, Again, it wouldn't work because if we click on this, we can go to related projects and see that there is a required dependency, meaning you don't just need Waystones, you also need Balm for this to work. Now we can go ahead and download Waystones. Everything you download here, we're going to have to wait a few seconds and then the download will begin and you will need to keep her saved. But again, CurseForge is 100% trusted, so you're good to do that. We can then do the same thing with Balm, again, searching for the 1.21.5 NeoForge version. And we can download this version right here right like so, and the download will begin. You can also do this on Modern Filter as well as make sure you're getting the right version. So we can go ahead and save there. And then what we can do is search for 1.21.5, Neo Forge, and here are all the different mods that are available. We can do the same thing. We can go to Waystones. And then once we're in Waystones, we will be able to see how to see that. We'll go into versions here, selecting the platform of Neo Forge, clicking on this, and there you see the dependency we need is bomb. So again, make sure you're checking that because 99% of the time when you're installing a Minecraft mod that doesn't work, it's because you're missing one of these dependency mods. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser and move everything to our desktop. So we're going to go to the downloads folder here, and we have bomb, which is required for Waystones which uh, is all requiring NeoForge because NeoForge needs to be installed for either of these to work. So let's get started with NeoForge. Right click on the NeoForge installer, click on open with, and click Java. But what if you don't have Java there? Or what if you do? What if you click Java and it doesn't open this NeoForge installer? Well, in that case, what you want to do is go to the description down below and get Java 21. For Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21 mods. And this video shows you everything you need to know, this tutorial, all that to get Java 4 Minecraft mods like NeoForge mods. So this covers everything. Once you've got Java, you may also want to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files from your computer, like NeoForge, and link them back to Minecraft. But first, download Java, then run the jar fix, and you're good to go, we can now install NeoForge. Right click on that NeoForge installer, click on open with, click Java, and the NeoForge install will open. All you've got to do here is click install client, click proceed, and this will install. The only reason it wouldn't is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Those both got to be closed, and you want to make sure you've played Minecraft 1.21.5 before. If not, this won't work at all, and it will just fail. So you need to go play that version, open it to the main menu, close out of it, and then once you do, you'll be able to install NeoForge and get this successfully installed client profile NeoForge message. We can now go ahead and click OK. That'll close out of that. We can delete NeoForge from our desktop. Let's go ahead and get our Minecraft mods installed. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, we will have a NeoForge installation. If we go to installations up here, we can see there's a NeoForge installation. If not, make sure modded is checked. There it is. If you still don't have a NeoForge installation here, we can go new installation. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because it's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then we want to select the release dropdown box and select release NeoForge 1.21.5, or excuse me, 21.5, which is this version here. 
I'm going to set the resolution. We can now go ahead and click install. If you're prompted to play, go ahead and play Minecraft. Otherwise, hover over your NeoForge installation, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with NeoForge installed. And guess what? That's the hardest part. From here, it's super easy to get your mods added to Minecraft. Now that you've got NeoForge, Getting your mods is super easy, assuming you have them downloaded, which we do. So here we are in game. We can go ahead and go to mods here and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the Minecraft main menu, click mods and then open mods folder in the bottom left. Now all you've got to do is drag and drop bomb and waystones and any Minecraft NeoForge mods you want right here into the mods folder. Again, you want to make sure that these are NeoForge mods because Fabric mods, Forge mods, they won't work. And as you can see, these both say Neo Forge here. Now we go ahead and close out of that and they're not in game. And they're not gonna be. Unfortunately, you have to quit Minecraft and then reopen it up using the Minecraft launcher, making sure you're playing Minecraft with that Neo Forge installation. If you're not playing Minecraft with Neo Forge, guess what? Your mods won't work. So if you ever play Minecraft without Neo Forge, your mods aren't there, that's why. You have to play using that Neo Forge installation. Once you've launched Minecraft with NeoForge again, your mods will be installed. We can see that on the main menu by going to the Mods button, and there it is, Waystones and Bomb. We can also check these out in-game really fast. I've already got some Waystones in this world, and we can easily hop between them. So you can see we've got one right here. We right-click on it. We can go to this one. Oh, there's one over here. If we right-click on that one, we can go to this one. Back and forth, just kind of hopping around the world because, uh, why not? It's kind of fun. I love waystones. You can obviously find these out in the world and uh, not have them so close together, but this is just to demonstrate things are working. Nonetheless, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your NeoForge mods, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.